Never imitated, can't be duplicated, underappreciated. It's Wild Turkey 101 with a new look and new label. Has it changed? Stay tuned to find out what makes this bourbon so great. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mass and Drum and today's crazy whiskey market with so many new brands, source brands, blends, endless limited releases, bullshit marketing, waiting in lines for a week and even Basil Hayden toast being flipped on secondary. I think it's official, the bourbon market has gone off the rails. It's getting old, frustrating, and to be honest, it's taking a little bit of the fun out of a lot of what the bourbon experience is simply slowing life down a bit and enjoying America's finest in your glass by yourself or with family and friends. So being able to get a bottle to share and enjoy that you can rely on is becoming more important with each passing year. So in this series, I will be taking some available bourbons, breaking down their core stats, and making my case of what makes the bourbon so great and why you should try it. To me, nothing says that more than Wild Turkey 101. Take a look at the new bottle and new label right now. So the origins of Wild Turkey 101 goes all the way back to the 1940s when Austin Nichols executive Thomas McCarthy came up with the Wild Turkey brand and its iconic 101 proof bourbon. In the beginning, Wild Turkey 101 bourbon was sourced from the Rippey Brothers and several other Kentucky distilleries. Once Austin Nichols and company purchased the JTS Brown and Sons Distillery in Lawnsburg, Kentucky, where Wild Turkey stands now in 1971, a bunch of 101 expressions started releasing, including the 101 Beyond Duplication, the coveted 12-year cheesy gold foil releases, uh, age statement changes, label changes, entry proof changes, and more in Wild Turkey's long and storied history. But since its creation back in the 1940s, Wild Turkey 101 has been the cornerstone offering from Wild Turkey. Sure, they have Rare Breed, Russell Reserve, Master's Keep, but when you think Wild Turkey, you think 101. I mean, it's available pretty much anywhere. It's affordable, it's versatile in cocktails, on the rocks, neat. While it was viewed as a blue collar bourbon for a long time, it's kind of transcended into a choice for white collar bourbon drinkers and just bourbon enthusiasts across the country alike. Over the years, we have seen bottle changes for 101, and in the last few months, we have seen another bottle design and questions if Wild Turkey 101 has changed also inside the bottle as well as outside. Now remember, Wild Turkey 101 is batched from barrels reportedly six to eight years old, so batch and bottle variation can come into play from month to month or year to year. So today we're going to taste some Wild Turkey 101s to see how the new bottle stacks up. I'm expecting small differences, but you never know. In case you forgot, Wild Turkey 101 is available pretty much everywhere on the planet. <laughs> bottle at 101 proof, reportedly a blend of six to eight year bourbon, as I mentioned, uh, for a price of only 25 bucks. So let's try the new one and see what we get. Pretty classic turkey on the nose. It's got such a nice vanilla frosting note to it that I love. A little bit of a Werther's Original Candy. This is kind of like a, a buttery toffee thing going on. Definitely some baking spices here. Definitely still get that cinnamon. That nice little citrus burst you get with Wild Turkey 101 as well. A little bit of oak too. Man, just smells like classic turkey, really good. Let's try it. Oh, okay. I'm getting a little bit, it's gonna be interesting to compare it to, the, um, to this bottling here. That's, that's kind of nice. It's not as sharp as I remember wild turkey being. It's a little bit softer, but you still get all those nice flavors. You get the, like that buttery toffee note, the vanilla frosting, the vanilla like cake, definitely some cinnamon, a lot of citrus punch coming through as well. Yeah, I love the cinnamon on the back end. The combination of orange and cinnamon with that overlying vanilla is what always sells me on Wild Turkey 101. Not to mention the finish here. 
There's like this soft but lingering spice that just sits there on the back end. It's, it's awesome. I tend to drink Russell's Reserve uh, single barrel and rare breed all the time. So sometimes the 101 is kind of the forgotten uh, bottle out of the group and it really shouldn't be, but I mean, it's as solid as they come. There is no off profile flavors here. Like I said, vanilla, caramel, a little bit of some like buttery toffee notes going on. Really nice uh, cinnamon and orange spice in the back end. Just a just a really, really well done wild turkey. Yeah, I think it's gonna be interesting to compare it to this one just to see if it it's lost some of that sharpness that people uh, you know that, that people think about when they think about wild turkey 101. So let's try it. Now this wild turkey 101, of course, has been open for a little bit. Yeah, so there is a there is a difference here, and I think, like I said earlier, it, this is a mingling of six to eight year old barrels. So you know, from month to month, year to year, you could have some different variations in the flavor. To me, the wild turkey 101 from last year is actually coming across a little bit more citrus, a little bit more rye heavy. Definitely still get the vanilla creams, the citrus. Then you compare it to the new 101. Yeah, this is actually coming off sweeter. Let's try last year's. Mm, still great balance. A little bit more caramel heavy, I think, on this one. More of the vanilla. Still get that citrus cinnamon a little bit. Let's try the new one. Yeah, the new one's actually coming off a little bit sweeter and a little bit softer around the edges there. I'm still getting, even though this is last year's bottle, it's still getting like a good punch of spice here. And while I do like that, you're still getting it with the new 101, but the 101, it just seems to kind of happen a little bit later in the experience. So it's like you take a sip, you get all the sweetness, it kind of goes away, then all of a sudden you get this little lingering spice on the back end, kind of lifts off. It's actually pretty damn easy to sip this uh, 101. The more you sip it, the sweet flavors come out, more vanilla, more of the toffee comes out. That's damn good. So overall, I think the new Wild Turkey 101 is, it, it, it's sweeter with a little bit of a softer touch to it. It's not as edgy as this one or some of the previous ones that I've had in the past. It just has a little bit more refinement to it, I think, um, at least based on what I'm tasting here. Um, I mean, I think that's really the best way to describe the 2021 version, but all the, you know, the turkey notes are there. You know, the vanilla, the caramel, the toffee, your cinnamon, your citrus, all there, all delicious. I mean, six to eight year old bourbon for such a great price really never lets me down. So what makes Wild Turkey 101 so great? All right, so let's make the case. What makes this bourbon so great? First and foremost, availability. You find it everywhere, uh, everywhere you go, Wild Turkey 101 is there. Secondly, price. In a time when everything new is 150 to 200 bucks, $25 for a six to eight year old product is so welcoming, it's so needed. Um, it's just, it, it's a comfort that it's always there for such a great price. All right, next up is the A, six to eight year old bourbon for 25 bucks. Compare these stats to other allocated or high price bottles that are out there. E.H. Taylor small batch is 100 proof, uh, set to be six to seven years old, $40 if you're lucky, uh, if you're even lucky to find it. Uh, also, even if you're lucky to pay that money for it because normally it's actually, uh, price way higher than that and normally see it for a hundred or higher for a Colonel E.H. Taylor uh, small batch, which is crazy. Uh, Blanton's, you know, I'm going to bring it up. Blanton's is a six year old product, 93 proof. Uh, this is six to eight years old, 101 proof. Uh, got way more flavor, a little bit more punch, maybe not as sweet, but compared to this one, this one's definitely a little bit sweeter than some of the other uh, one-on-ones that I've had in the past. You have Kentucky Owl Confiscated. They want $125 for a 93 proof bourbon. That's, you know, set to be a mingling of young and old bourbons. They don't really tell you how old, but there you have it. You can, you can pair this to some of those other bourbons that are out there for a lot more money that are highly allocated and it just doesn't measure up. Next up is the heritage of this bottle. Yeah, it might be a little bit, you know, cheesy, but it comes from the Russells. Bourbon royalty among us with decades of bourbon distilling experience. You can't really count that out. Next up is entry proof. Wild Turkey uses a 115 barrel entry proof. That means most barrels fall between 110 to 120 proof after aging. 
Uh, so Wild Turkey 101 is 101 proof and dilution is minimal. Less water equals more flavor in the bottle. Wild Turkey 101 joins the ranks of amazing and available bourbons from Jim Beam, Heaven Hill, Maker's Mark, Woodford Reserve, and others. If all those bourbons like Elijah Craig, Knob Creek, Evan Williams, and others were heroes, then Wild Turkey 101 might be Captain America. When Captain America throws his mighty shield. It's simply one of or the best everyday bourbons available. It's nuanced enough for beginners, yet complex enough for seasoned drinkers. It's available, has great age, and works well in cocktails, neat or even on the rocks. Still not convinced? Don't worry, because once you're done overpaying, waiting online, chasing allocated bottles, getting ripped off from secondary market prices, Wild Turkey 101 will be waiting for you where it's always been on the shelf. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review for the brand new look uh, Wild Turkey 101. I'm telling you, I think it's gotten a little bit sweeter, at least this version has. I'm really digging it. And also as we dove into what makes this bourbon so great, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments what bourbon you think should be highlighted on this series. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Thank you so much, Wild Turkey, uh, for making this so available and so delicious. Appreciate it. Take care, everybody.